Welcome to Mark's Monthly Omaha Area Housing Report. Today, we're going to look at January 2016 versus January 2015. Hi, I'm Mark Renner, known as Mr. Omaha, from NP Dodge Real Estate. Today, we're going to discuss Mark's Monthly Omaha Area Housing Report for the month of January 2016, and we're going to compare it to January of 2015, or a year ago. How did the market do in the, comparing those two months? First, let me summarize. Here's what's going on in the marketplace. The market is active. There's a lot of buyer demand. We don't have enough listings. We could use more listings. Homes are, that are sold or that, and are priced correctly are on the market a short period of time and they're sold. Uh, there's a strong demand out there. And interest rates haven't gone up. As a matter of fact, they've trended downward for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, something under four. So it depends upon your credit report and a few other things, but generally they've, they've trended downward. And I remember the days of 18%. So this is tr historically very low interest rates. But then, okay, so let's talk about January of 2016 compared to January of 2015. The for sales, that's the number of listings that we have for sale, and that includes single family dwellings, that includes condominiums, that includes townhouses, that includes uh, uh, new construction. The number for sale in January or last month compared to January a year ago was down 16%. The number of closings this January compared to a year ago in January of 2015, closings were down 8%. And the number of homes pended, in other words, the homes that went for sale are homes that went under contract but haven't closed yet, that's called pendings, that was down 5%. Now the pended number of months inventory, this is a hypothetical uh, number derived from economists. Uh, hypothetical in the sense if no more homes were listed at the present rate of sales, how long would it take to sell every single listing in the multiple listing system? If it's a, between three and six, it's a neutral market. If it's above six, it favors the buyer because homes are on the market longer. If it's under three, it, it dramatically favors the seller, becomes a seller market. Well, based upon last month's sales, pendings, and the number of listings we have, 2.7 months. So anything under three favors the seller. So this greatly favors the seller. The number of months of inventory based on closed sales is 3.8, but that's not important as the pending number of months of inventory. So take a look at this graph and you will see just those numbers that I mentioned. This graph that you will see on your screen uh, compares all of the sales, pended, closing, listing inventory for the last 15 months. Look at it closely. This next graph, the blue one, This describes the number of months of inventory based upon closed sales, and it's 3.8. Okay, so let's talk about some additional interesting information about the market. In January of 2016, the average for, for sale price was $271,000. That was up 1.1% compared to last month or December of 2015. But the average price home for sale in the multiple listing was up 11.1% as compared to January of 2015. That's a significant increase in average asking price. Doesn't mean inflation, average asking price. The average sold price, homes that sold in January of 2015, or 16, last month, the average sold price was $189,000. Now that's down 2.6% from December of 2015, or from the month before. 
but it is up 4.4% compared to January of 2015. So the average sold price is up 4.5%. Some people will say that's about what inflation is uh, in housing. I, I think I agree with that. That's, that sounds like a pretty average number. Kind of depends upon the house and where it is, and we'll cover that in another video. This next graph shows you the average for sale price over the last 15 months versus the average sold price over the last 15 months. Let's talk about how long properties have been on the market. In January of 2016, last month, the average days on the market was only 41 days. Now that's the average days on the market for sold listings, not the listings that are in the multiple listing, but the homes that went under contract in January last month, average time on the market was only 41 days. That is up 10.8% compared to December. I think that's probably because we've had a colder January. This is always a little contingent upon the weather. But it is down, the average days on the market, down 28, over 28% 28 as compared to January of 2015. That reflects the fewer listings and the higher demand for listings. That the average days on the market is down 28% compared to January of 16th to January of 15th. The sold to original list price ratio remains pretty constant. It has for years. It's always 97, 98%, something in there. Um, it's, it's, it just hasn't really changed much. It was the same in uh, December of 2015 as it was in January of 16. It's up 1.1% compared to January of, of 15. In other words, it's all pretty consistent. It's the same. Take a look at that slide there. And this last slide will show you that over the last 15 months, it's averaged from a low of 95% sales to list price uh, a couple times uh, back in the winter of 14 and the beginning of 15. And then it got up to, as you would expect, 97, 98% in March, April, May, and June, which reflects a little stronger spring market. Fewer listings, might even be higher this year. And then it went back down in the winter time between December and January, it was at 96%. But it's always right in there. So when you're shopping for a house, don't consider to making an offer of 10% off because they never sell for that. You'll just upset the seller and then you'll begin the negotiations on the wrong foot. So. This is Mark Renner, NP Dodge Real Estate, known as Mr. Omaha, signing off. Thank you very much for watching my video. And when we get the statistics for February, I'll see you on the next video of Mark's Monthly Housing Report. I know you will get great value from my YouTube channel. Click here to subscribe to my channel and stay up to date about what's going on in the greater Omaha area. Here are a few suggested next steps. Click here to get an instant estimate on your home's value. Or click here to watch my video, Home Buyers, How to Avoid Paying Too Much. Or click here to, view, to get my special report, Squeezing Every Last Dollar from Your Home Sale. Or click here to subscribe to Mark's Monthly Omaha Area Real Estate Market Report. And don't forget to friend me on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com backslash Mark Renner.